Hey guys, this is Mark from Oregon Greybeard. Today I'm going to show you how to put Velcro on a patch using a tabletop thread injector. Beard optional, but not really. Mandatory, but it's optional, but it's mandatory. Alright, so one easy way to cut the Velcro is with one of these circle cutters uh, made by Olfa. You can pick these up on Amazon for $12 or $13. If you're doing, you know, several of these, I think it would be a good investment. Get yourself some Velcro. What I like to do is take some painter's tape and actually tape it, tape the Velcro down. Now this holds the Velcro in place and it also gives the knife a little bit of a friction and it just cuts, it just cuts a lot easier. So just find the center, plunge it in, the knife will cut into the Velcro. And then I just turn the other side of the handle like this. And we've got a perfect circle that fits on the back of our patch and is just inside the lip. All right, so this is the Singer 4423 uh, Home Industrial Machine. Uh, in my opinion, this is the best desktop thread injector you can buy. Won't really go into a lot of sewing machine setup today. Uh, next is thread. We're using this uh, Gutermann's clear thread. The product number is 111. So this is the thread we're going to use. Uh, and then for needles, these uh, Schmetz, this is a 13705. I don't really want to go into a lot of detail about uh, thread sizes and needle sizes. I'm sure there's lots of other videos uh, you can watch uh, on YouTube that would explain that. Uh, so you want to make sure you're using the right thread and needle. We have our thread loaded up in our, mach in our machine. Uh, next thing we want to do is adjust the uh, position of the needle over to, actually going to do it to the other side since the camera is sort of in the way. Uh, the reason we want it on one side is because we don't want the feed dogs, both feed dogs on the bottom of the patch pulling because it'll be hard to rotate. So if they're just pulling on one side, it'll be easier to spin the patch around. So the first thing we want to do is hold our thread, okay, and then plunge our needle down where we, where we want it. And in my case, I want to put it right in the edge of the... Uh, the marrowed border there. So I'm just going to presume that you can see that and we're all on the same page and everything is copacetic. Uh, so hold your hold your thread and then your first couple of stitches you want to hold your thread tension and just do them by hand. Now honestly you could hand crank the whole thing. Uh, it's not a very big patch uh, but you know once you have a good spot you can slowly turn on the power uh, keep it slow and uh, just maintain an even speed keeping that stitch right where you want it stop for a second move this uh, thread out of the way and we'll keep going real slow Once you get back to where you were, pop this off. Let's get these extra threads taken off there. Now you see we still have the little uh, threads hanging out, so we're going to take care of that next. Get a sewing needle and where these two threads are coming up. That's a fine time for my phone to disconnect. Find the stitch where these two threads are coming up and pull it back to the back. So I got one of them. Now I just got to find the other one. Sometimes you can tug a little bit to find out where it's at. So there, I've got the threads out from the front. Okay, so the, all four of them are are sticking uh, out at the back. 
Now technically you could leave those threads longer and tie them in a knot. I personally don't really find that that's necessary. Uh, get some of these Japanese thread snippers. They're only a few bucks on Amazon. They're really, really handy to have. And just nip those threads down. And then take a lighter and you just want to ball up of course, I've got like several monster fans blowing right now. Uh, but you just want to ball uh, that up. And I'm not even going to assume that you can really see that, but it looks like you can. Uh, so that'll keep the thread, that'll stop the thread from pulling back through because uh, that material's balled up on the end now. So let's uh, take a look at what we did. You can kind of see the uh, stitching there where the marrow meets the patch. And in this case, uh, this is dark enough, you could have just used uh, black thread, but I know a lot of people have been asking about the, the clear thread and where to get it, etc. I will put links to the thread, the bench top thread injector, uh, but not this patch, because I don't even know I don't even know where it came from, but Scientology, right? <laughs> I hope you found this useful. Uh, I'm gonna go over a couple uh, other techniques for uh, putting Velcro on patches, or one. Maybe I'll add to this one. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. Anyways, this is Mark from Oregon Greybeard. We'll see you guys next time. Who what? Yeah.